Wait, stop. This girl does not exist. She is fake. Look at this Instagram profile. And now look at this one. They are both fake, not real. Hey, Lemonheads. All right. Now, if any of you have seen this video and tried to reproduce this AI Revenue Pro, Mr. Lemonhead decided to show us. It's a great tool, great process, but unfortunately, when you go through and you do the process, you go over here to Google Colab and you get the dreaded error 401. Well, I won't tell you anything about the background, but it seems like the developer and the packages and the downloads, they've decided to take it offline. But I have found a workaround. And all I ask is to like and follow. And here I am on TikTok, brand new account, the Jonathan Alonzo. If you can go ahead and just do a follow, I would deeply appreciate it. So here is the fix. So starting off, I like to recommend, let's do a new notebook. All right, so now that we've gone to file, new notebook, name whatever you like. First thing, one of the issues it was, that at least that I discovered, was Hugging Face was not installed. So, and again, all the stuff I'll be putting in here will be in the description. All you have to do is go in here, do pip install, let it do its thing. Let it run through that. Next aspect after that. All right, the next set of code, we want to go ahead and hit code and then paste this in. Hit run. Again, don't do anything. Don't do the next step until all this is completely done. Of course, I had to download a new version of the inswapper file, and unfortunately, not available for me, at least. Part of the problem was the whoever the original file was that was loaded online, they took off, moved access. So the information when you tried to run it basically could not find the file online. So what we're actually going to do is go ahead and download the actual inswapper file. So go ahead and download this. And by the way, this is not my drive. This is not my Google Drive. So download it and do it while you can. And once we download the actual file itself, Back over to here, executing. We're going to go ahead and upload it. Now I've already done this. Okay. Go into Roop, go to Models, and we're going to upload the proper dates. Let's literally put it in there. Don't need to execute it because once we go ahead and do that, it's going to reference this file automatically. It's going to find your models. So again, finish. So that's done, of course. Do I have to fix the Onyx runtime? Pause this while this back to. All right, and once that's all done, we can do anything else. Here to restart the runtime. Yes. Thing. Next aspect of what I had to do is again. Run the Onyx. Onyx runtime. Code and then hit run. Let that finish. That was pretty quickly. And of course, I had to install CUDA. Error initial. Well, again, a lot of these files were just missing. So you're trying to install them locally to overcome and make sure the pro software itself and everything comes together that it can find what it needs. Hit run. Okay. Then while that's doing its thing, we're going to come back up here and new file to download. This is going to be the GFP GAN version 1.4 PDH on version 2. Obviously, I've already built that. Ed, come Back to over here in your two models again, upload the actual file. One. And we don't have anything else until this is installing. Of course, uh, during one of the issues I had to take care of, it kept on flagging me with GPU error, which is your video card and driver. It asked me to update it. 
So I have an NVIDIA GeForce uh, 1060 running. So I went ahead, download the new updated driver, and it worked for one. And after that point, I was like, okay, we're just going to bypass the whole GPU. And at that point, oh, let's see. At code insert, of course, this is find. This is pretty done it. And back there you go. This is the original version of line code that they gave us. Of course, this being file. Um, of course, I'll copy path, put that in here. That's space. That was just, and I came up with a new line of code. This, paste that in there. Video, copy path, highlights, change the MP4, which I have, copy path, I'll source the face that I utilize, paste that in there, and then of course, run. So again, just coming back through here, and I'll actually notes, because that's what I'm referencing off screen again. So the new collab notebook, where you go. Installed Hugging Face, we installed GitHub, downloaded the iWhopper, file through here. It's 529 megs, if I didn't mention that to you. 529 megs. Do not delete this, save this, because you know what, if it disappears or something happened, reference. It again, it self-installs itself. And we went ahead to the iSwapper. This was the code that we put in here. And again, on Colab, code hit. Then we install the Onyx, or the, I call it Onyx, O-N-X runtime. Here's that the code that we put in here. Then we, of course, put CUDA, how you download file, and then tools directory. Of course, I had to install the GPU. Uh, so this really is a, a step that I'm including just because it's one of the things I went through, hoping that it would pay. But it didn't. And at that point, uh, there's something you probably can pass. But again, just... Keep your computer up to And then, of course, to pass the actual GPU. Uh, this was the original code that they gave us. And this is the code that I went through. Insert that. And again, what I'm basically doing is telling reference uh, and, and basically bypass. I'm not going to go. No, we're not we're here to code. We just want it to work. And of course, target and source. And at that point, let's go through and let's see where we're at because I have this multiple browsers. Things are still going. Again, this is one of the versions that I fixed everything in. Up and scrolling. Let's see. Fixed everything. Process the video in here is the end result. Swat. Dot n four. So put a sign by sign and show. All right, and here's the face that I went ahead and utilized. Of course, as you can. See, Ten here's the original, here's the swap face. Again, greater the difference, you know, but listen, clean through here and it's like, man, no transition, it's, it looks good. So that is my resolution into fixing the code. And again, here's everything here. As you can see, here is the code. It works, and I wish you the best of luck. And again, all I ask, you guys can go through and just do a follow. Thank you. Have a good one.